is Smart Consulting Sourcing, the only podcast about consulting procurement or how to buy consulting services. You'll get tips on how to use consulting, buy consulting, and managing the consulting. And now your host, Ellen Lafitte. Hello, and welcome back to Smart Consulting Sourcing, the only podcast about consulting procurement. I am Elaine, and today I'll be talking about six levers to optimize your consulting return on investment, what you should know before you start using those six levers. But before we dive into today's episode, let me give you guys a small recap about our previous six lever series episode. I shared a few findings from our summer survey on consulting procurement maturity grid. This showed us that many companies don't get that desired value from their project, even after following best-in-class procurement practices. I also shed light on why such companies don't succeed in getting that return on investment on their consulting spend. So the reason is that companies need to gain knowledge and understanding of the vast and ever-changing consulting market. And the fact that procurement must be transformed to optimize their return on investment and maximize the value of your consulting plant. So the transformation will only be possible if top management is involved. So if, you, if you're interested in what we discussed and what more content, you can follow us on YouTube on any other mainstream streaming platform. But now let's jump onto today's topic, which is six levers to optimize your consulting ROI, what you should know before you start using them. So my fellow listeners, the thing with the six lever podcast series is that I wanted to share the knowledge and importance of this set levers that will help you get the value that you desire from your consulting projects. And As the title suggests, I'm going to talk about things that you need to know before you start using the six levers. So firstly, starting with the basics and the thing that you might already know if you've been part of a podcast journey is that best in class procurement is central to optimizing the ROI of your consulting spend. Now, I won't go into the real basics of what's the best in class procurement Uh, practice of what best-in-class companies are. But if you're new to this channel, you can click on uh, the info card that would appear on the top right corner of the screen if you're on YouTube. And now to learn more about how to be a best-in-class company on our procurement maturity grid. But don't worry, as a matter of fact, most companies don't actually know what value a best-in-class procurement can bring to the table for the consulting category. As a result, they don't include procurement in the early stage of their consulting projects, and hence they miss out on the obvious. That is why most companies rarely aim to transform consulting procurement into a best-in-class practice, whereas the best-in-class procurement organizations are the ones that are getting the most out of their consulting spend. Duh. And they're doing it in a way that's not just focused on cost savings, but also on impact. So they're looking at the organization as a whole and say, how can we have an impact that's going to benefit everyone? And I'm sure almost all the companies think that way, but when it comes to procurement, they just roll their eyes on it, you know? And too often procurement is relegated to a back office function when in reality, it should be central to an organization strategy. So in today's fast-paced global economy, organization might be nimble and adaptable to survive. To do this, they need to have the right mix of skills and capabilities across the entire organization, which includes procurement. When you start focusing on procurement and actually involving them, it can be a powerful tool for organizational success. This is a hard one. And you can tap into new markets, drive innovation, and gain a competitive edge. So it starts with acceptance from business leaders. Only then can organization truly unlock the potential of procurement. And I must tell you that there's a whole world of untapped potential of procurement. And so before you get too excited how you can achieve this, let me acknowledge what it is necessary for business leaders to first accept this organization-wide impact of procurement. 
So in the business of procuring consulting services, you know that one of the most important things you can do is show the benefits to stakeholders or business lines. And there's no doubt that procurement has to show the benefits to stakeholders or business lines. After all, optimizing the value of consulting spend is critical for any company. But what if the ERAS is not satisfactory? Well, in that case, business line can consider starting to use our six levers. And let me remind you, you guys, what these six levers are in brief before we proceed talking about them in detail from our next episode. So the first one is investing in the right project, which tells us that you don't need to just accept the first project that comes your way. You need to understand the value it brings to the companies as a whole. Because when you're on a limited budget, like all the time, you need to consider what project will have the highest impact for your organization. And that's the one you want to do, right? And once you have the right project, you need to figure out how to deliver. And this is our second level. You select the right delivery model. Even before you launch your project, your top objective should be to choose the best delivery approach. The conventional approach is, of course, make or buy strategy. You're familiar with that. Should I rely on internal resources? But there's also, how should I use research firm, hire temp workforce, or outsource to external consultants? And to ensure that this process goes smoothly and does not affect your pockets, keeping your cost under control would appear a viable way to proceed further, right? And that's our third lever, actually. So consulting can represent a significant part of your indirect spend. And because it is rarely managed professionally, Often decentralized and scattered, it's an incredible source of savings. But the return on investment is not only about cost, right? And those among you that follow me know that I prefer to focus on value and impact. You know the other part of return on investment? Here we go. The first lever, secure the impact. So the right consulting firm can make or break a project. And so can poor project management. So managing a consulting project does not mean leaving the reins to the consultant. You want your project to deliver impact, whether it is advancing your strategy, tracking efficiency, or capturing savings. And in the same way that you could control the impact, managing and making the most of your suppliers is essential. And that's our fifth level. So in many organizations, consulting is built directly by the end users and procurement arrives at best at the negotiation phase. So procurement is often sidelined on administrative tasks such as contract management, purchase orders, and payments. Your role as procurement is to make sure that the suppliers meet or exceed the buyer's expectations in terms of quality, delivery, and cost. But what we observe instead is poor supplier management, which is just on unreliable suppliers, disruptions, conflict, and satisfaction, and lack of communication. So when you have all these levers checked, what you need is to make sure the change sticks. You need to make the change sustainable. And that is our sixth lever, making the transformation sustainable by improving your consulting searching capability. By capability, I mean skills, process, and technology. You know, at the end of the day, a transformation of your consulting procurement capability is no different than any other transformational project. Without working on the people, particularly the most senior executive in your organization, the role would be extremely steep or slippery, and you won't get the full benefits of the transformation if the change is not sustainable. Because a sustainable transformation starts from the top. When it comes to showing the value of the project and the return on investment company get for their consulting spend, this means showing them where they lack in the process of procuring consulting services to stakeholders or business line. And we know that's not easy to acknowledge that you're doing something wrong, but you are not alone, right? Of course, there's no perfect solution, but procurement can help point you in the right direction. After all, they are the specialists at buying, right? So next, they can start setting the priorities. Where do you think you fail the most? Is it because you have no control over your cost? Or is that the problem? Then you can start right there. Or maybe it's the problem of impact. Then 
this is just the era where you need to find your solution. You have to start by addressing that area and then one after one, the one, you know, eventually you will go everywhere. But well, maintaining consistency and harmony among the different dimensions. But before starting to use the six levers, you need to remember that it is going to be a long and consistent process. Also, your organization, and in particular the top management, must be willing to put some structure into the purchasing of consulting services. They need to accept that you, procurement, will have a role to play and allow you to challenge that choices. And in some organization, it will take a bit of time. You know, I'll share an example of a most recent uh, procurement game changer podcast with Asla. When he talks about how the executives don't know what procurement does, indeed, it's not taught in schools. And I might think that buying services is the same thing as buying at the supermarket. Hint, it is not. So you need first to clarify what value, what value you bring to the table. And then there is often an emotional link between a consultant user and their consultant. And the only way to be allowed to challenge that link is to build a trust with the user. And procurement has to build relationship with their internal stakeholders. That's why you need people with the right amount of soft skills and relationship building habits. But many procurement professionals, especially in direct, especially in professional services, are used with not much experience in how to handle people and build a trust with the business line, which is a prerequisite for the procurement to actually make the top management listen to them. So you need the right people with the right support. It's that simple. But ultimately, you want your key stakeholders and your organization as a whole to understand the value of procurement accept to change their ways, even being proactive in the change and be willing to create more impact and value. In other words, to manage consulting as an investment rather than a necessary support or cost. And only then can you start using the six levers. So to conclude today's topic, Procurement transformation is at the core of capturing maximum value from your consulting spend. And a six levers can help you achieve just that. But before initiating that process, business leaders and stakeholders must understand and accept the transformation of procurement and accept that that will have an impact on the entire organization and the company as a whole can benefit from that best in class procurement can offer. But for any change to take place, procurement needs the blessing of the top management and stakeholders. Ironically, they often do not care. And this nonchalance only reflects the absence of synergy between the business lines and procurement. And changing that mindset has to be the very first step to optimizing your consulting return on investment. Next, they need to understand where they think their return is not adequate. This will give them a good starting point from using that six lever approach. So if you're ever feeling lost, don't hesitate to ask for help from your friendly neighborhood procurement team. They just have the answer that you're looking for. And I hope that now you know what you need before you start implementing are six levers to optimize the return on investment of your consulting spend. And if you don't, then you can just come and ask us at Consulting Quest. So thank you for listening. That marks the end of our podcast. So keep an eye out for me next week when I return with our, our six lever approach. So till then, stay safe and happy sourcing. And if you have questions regarding today's topic or any other topic, actually, remember you can always contact me on LinkedIn or by email because I'm always game for a chat. Bye and see you next week. Au revoir. You've been listening to Smart Consulting Sourcing, the only podcast about consulting procurement. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, hit the website at consultingquest.com. Find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. For questions and comments, send an email to ellen.lafitte at consultingquest.com. See you next time.